Hello guys, how are we all doing? So in a continuation of our reacting to musicals I've never seen before, what I thought we'd do is go into a bit of Only Fools and Horses, the musical. Now this is currently running on the West End and you know, it's a show that I'm, I'm familiar, very familiar. I've watched quite a bit of the original show when it came out and you know, I've got a little bit of nostalgia for it and I want to see, you know, how they're going to transform this into the stage musical and is it worth you going to see it or checking out more of the soundtrack? So let's see a little bit of the show and see what it has to offer. Today, then. Well, we got these genuine gold effect leaning Eiffel Tower appeasers. Yeah, morning, Trigger. Morning, Joe. What's it, Dave? <laughs> Trig, how many times have I told you my name ain't Dave, it's Rodney? I thought it was Dave, Dave. I know, but it ain't. I mean, it's never been Dave, it's always been Rodney. You winding me up, Dave? <laughs> no. So one of the things they've done in an immediate great start is they found a way to, you know, these actors are doing a very good job of doing a recreation of the characters we saw in the original show. With a show like this that's based on previous material, it's so important for it to not try and do anything, I know this sounds weird, but do anything too new and out there. Especially with these main characters that we know and love, we want them to feel at least similar to the characters we already like because that's why audiences are paying to go see them. Oh, you mean to tell me that for the last 20 odd years I've been calling you the wrong name? Yes. Blimey. Feel a bit daft now. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. It's Rodney! Oh, yeah. Blackpool Towers. No, no, these are I genuine... I used to go there on meologies when I was a nipper. Me and all my family. Every year we went to Blackpool. Oh yeah, well then you might recognise these then, Trig, as genuine gold effect Blackpool Towers. Yeah. You know, I bet you and all your family would love a few of these, bring back all them wonderful childhood memories. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. Two for the price of three, and I cannot say fairer than that. No thanks, Joe. <laughs> we all hated Blackpool. So why'd you go there every summer? We could never find Margate. It's Rodney. Oh. What are you doing in the back oh, of the van? Oh, no, blimey. Oh, all right. Obviously, with this type of show, you've got to nail two things. The music and the comedy. We haven't seen if they've nailed the music yet, but I, while it's not, you know, like, laugh out loud funny, I find, you know, it's working well and the comedic beats are quite fun. I reckon if you could get a cheap ticket to this, I reckon you'd have a good, fun evening with a nice bit of comedy. I reckon it could work well. <laughs> All right, Rodney. I've got a little something here for you and what's the name? Cassandra. Yeah, it's a wedding present for you. Oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah. There's a story attached to that cigarette case, you know. Because my grandfather was shot in the Boer War and the bullet was heading right for his heart. But luckily he had that in his breast pocket and it hit that instead. Wow. Well, it saved his life. Not exactly. The bullet ricocheted up his nose and blew his brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you giving it to us, then? Well, for good luck. <laughs> Cosmic. Mm. Right, go on, do one, old man. We've got right. something to shift around here, haven't we? <laughs> We've got some half-price crack ties. Okay, here's where the nerves start, because they've, they've shown they can do the comedic bit, now we're about to get some music, and it sounds like they're gonna do a version of the original theme, Musicalified, which, if done well, will get me on side. However, they've gotta do it well first. Let's, let's see. Stroke, 
it's one of those things. Is this, like, the best singing? No. Am I one of those people, you know, like, certain musicals, you know, you go into Les Mis and you want, like, the best singing. You go into a musical like this and you want a sense of fun and you want a sense of character. Are these actors doing a brilliant job at that? Yes. Is the music working really, really well? Have they, like, musically fired it enough? We'll wait to see at the end, but, you know, it's, it, it's, 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 I think it's doing an alright job. I think it is doing an alright job. Okay, they've they've won me. This is this is fun. I've said this before, and I'm one of those people that like can't you know go and see like go to like the West End like consistently. So I'm not sure. For example, if I've got three days to see three shows, I'm probably not going to pick this as one of my three. However, if you like very into the source material or you live close to London, this is a very good viable option, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it from this. Wanna shield your old mince pies, darling, because these are dazzling, aren't they? Now you know how the people of Athens felt when they first gazed up at the ceiling of the old pristine chapel. Here, do you want to touch it? No, maybe later. <laughs> The fact that they've managed to have a proper, like, fun, musical climax in this is quality. The way, like I said earlier, like I wanted them to do, the way they've made, like, the theme song, like, into, like, this proper song is fantastic. It's really, really enjoyable. I can see, like, this specific song popping into a few of my musical theatre playlists because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Now that was very impressive. Look, like I alluded to earlier, unless this comes on tour, which I reckon it might do eventually, I'd be surprised if I'm gonna see this show like in London or like, you know, anytime soon. But that looks like an incredibly fun show and it's just a show that makes you, you know, like enjoy your theater, you come out and you have a good time. And that's what this short show is supposed to do. And it does it very well, in my opinion. We're back on this series now. I, I, I want to get like an episode of this out, let's say two episodes every three weeks. Because if I committed to an episode a week, it won't happen knowing me. But um, I'm enjoying getting back on this series and it'll be fun to have you along for the ride. Also, comment what you want me to do. I've received a lot of comments and I'm going to get around to them. Probably next episode. Just because I don't quite know what musicals you're interested in, I'm going to give you a couple of choices. If you want to see what I thought of Six the Musical, you can click this one. Or a little bit of a different vibe, if you want to see what I thought of Toy Story the Musical, you can click this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I salute it again. God damn it, I salute it again. It's come back.